Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penj and welcome to Farm Manager 2021. So yes, we are back with our beloved Farm Manager, but just to manage expectations a tiny little bit, this is only the demo of Farm Manager 2021. It is not the full game, this is not the beginning of a grand new series, unfortunately. That will have to wait until the game has been developed a little bit further, I'm afraid. So originally, this was scheduled to be released in the autumn of 2020, and the game was indeed called Farm Manager 2020, but it's been put pushed back to 2021. Now, for whatever reasons, they've changed the name, obviously, to reflect the new sort of release date, so it looks like we will have to wait a little bit longer to play the full version. But not to worry, because we have the lovely demo to play, which is splendid. It is available on Steam right now, if you want to go and have a go. It's part of the Steam Game Festival Autumn Edition. So, of course, if you're interested, there's a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below, if you want to go and check it out. But I think you know the deal with this. You know the deal with Farm Manager. It's fields and crops and tractors, harvesting, fruit, veg, animals, manure, all that kind of good stuff. So let's just go farming, shall we? So here we go, and chapter one of Farm Manager 2021's campaign mode is called For You Are Dust. And I think this is the only thing we have access to in the demo right now. We can only play chapter one, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. It's some farm manager. It's better than no farm manager at all. And if we complete the chapter successfully, we get ourselves 15,000 farm manager monies. Okay, right, let's continue and let's just take a look at what's going on. Right, first things first, is spacebar pause? Spacebar is pause, wonderful news. And let's just take a look around because it looks very, very lovely. It looks very nice. There's a whole city off in the background over there. There's a whole big kind of city over there with you know, sort of skyscrapers and loads of stuff going on over there. Nice mountains in the distance, sort of a, you know, it's an okay sort of day, a bit cloudy. And here, of course, is our lovely farm. It looks a little bit... It looks a little bit run down, doesn't it? It looks a little bit of a mess. I mean, that tractor, we could get that tractor back up and running, can we? We can get that thing up and running. I mean, okay, it looks a little bit kind of broken, but slap that wheel on, put the front wheel back on, and it'll be fine. I mean, I'm no mechanic, but it can't be any more difficult than that, can it? Um, oh, okay, we might need the other wheels as well. Put all the four wheels on that tractor, and I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So yeah, we've, we've inherited this, haven't we? That's kind of how these things work. We've inherited this farm from our granddad or our uncle or something like that. It's been bequeathed to us, and we're going to need to get it back into shape and make it all profitable again. Okay. That's fine, but yeah, we've got ourselves some barns. The doors are hanging off a little bit. We've got some kind of animal, sort of uh, animal shed things. There's another broken tractor and a trailer. There's a little storage thing. There's a well. Okay, so yeah, it's looking, it's looking like it's got the basic kind of things in place. We just need to sort of you know spruce them up a bit and get them all sort of nicely repaired. Get it back on its feet. Okay, right. Hello there, nameless lady at the top. What do you want? Good morning. The weather is beautiful today, isn't it? It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, you know, it's a bit cloudy. It's a bit cloudy, but you know, it looks lovely. It looks lovely. The sun will break through. It'll be splendid. It's perfect for starting a new project. Okay, what new project is it? Recently, our company purchased this area. There are several destroyed buildings on it. Yes, indeed. Is it that stuff over there? Yeah, that does look a little bit kind of run down, doesn't it? Um, okay, so we're over here. So this is, is that our house? Is that our house? Tell me that's our house. That looks wonderful. As a representative of an agro production company, you have to restore them to their former glory and expand your farm. Okie dokie. I know this is your first important project. I'm sure you can do it. Okay. According to the contract, the company has made this house available to you. In addition to a comfortable bed, very important, nice comfy bed, it includes a small warehouse and a parking lot. Okay. So this is our house. Oh, this is wonderful. There's another broken tractor over there. Wow, we just love collecting broken tractors. Okay, this is our house. There's a ladder on the roof for some reason. Don't really know why. And yeah, there's a garage for storage. That's our house. Oh, look at that. There's even a little washing line. It, the house comes with free clothes. Brilliant. Okay, right. We don't need to bring our own clothes. Wonderful. Okay, so show us the house. Yes, I get that. Um, are we supposed to click on it? Are we being tutorialed here? Okay, right. Okay, I see. We've got a little sort of uh, tutorial hand-holding thing going on. Okay, so that is a warehouse. It doesn't hold... I mean, it holds 5,000 things. It holds 5,000 units of stuff. That seems quite big. But okay, right. So there we go. We've got our little house here. We can store some stuff. And she said it had parking. Um, is that what that is? It's a little sort of parking bay out the front there. So parking bay for four things. Oh, okay. That's quite big. That's quite a big thing. And then look, here are all the things. However, it looks like there are more sort of uh, crops that we can grow. It looks like there's more things because they, are they radishes? Beets. Okay, beets. Yeah, they've got beets. Got black currants. I don't think black currants were in it last time, were they? 
don't think black currants were in it. Okay, I think a lot of the other stuff was in it before. Yeah, pears and potatoes and raspberries. Oh, the super profitable raspberries. Ah, memories. Okay, so there we go. So we've got loads of extra things. Gooseberries, I don't think they were in it before either, were they? Uh, okay, sorry, uh, nameless lady. I was getting distracted by lots of lovely fruit and veg. Hello. Um, okay, let's get out to business. Start by rebuilding these few buildings. Okay, what few buildings? The boss said that if you can finish it quickly, you'll get a 500 uh, farm manager monies bonus. Um, so we've got 700 grand right now. That seems like a lot of money. Okay, 700,000 of the monies. Um, I suggest starting with the barn. Yeah, the barn does look a little bit worse for wear. Okay, how do we repair the barn? Uh, here we go. Renovate for 4,000. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Renovate that. I assume we're going to have to renovate other things as well. Um, oh no, that's an abandoned building. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we are being sort of tutorial, do we? We are indeed being sort of handheld through this. Okay, right. Well, there you go. Work on the barn. I'm sure you can get on with that. And oh, there's a load of little people on the top. Hello, little people. Oh, you're all, you're all repairing things in sync. That's good. <laughs> That's very coordinated of you. There you go. Um, you guys, I noticed you're on a building site. You're not wearing, not all of you are wearing hard hats. People down here, some of them are. Some of them, that guy there, as stylish as your hat is, it's a, it's a wonderful green hat. I don't think it's a hard hat type thing. Okay, you have to rebuild the rest of the buildings in the same way. Also remember to repaint the fences. Okay, what, these fences here? Renovate for 40. Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. We can just repair. We can turn them from big, crumbly old fences into lovely new repaired fences. Okay. Oh, crikey. Right. Okay. The controls need a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, work there. Everything's very quick. Everything is very quick. Okay. Right. So renovate that for six grand. Crikey. That costs four. This costs six. Okay. So fix that up. We fix the fences. Okay. I mean, can we fix these? I assume we're going to have to renovate the sort of the farm equipment as well. There's a Riga tractor. Oh, the Riga tractors. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a little bit broken, isn't it? A good mechanic will have that back up and running in no time. I imagine that's what we're going to have to do next. So once that thing is done, once I finish repairing our house where people can live, let's just move time on a bit quicker. There we go. Okay, damaged plough was found next to the barn. Move it to the parking lot. That thing there. Um, okay, repark. Oh, move. Oh, okay. Um, oh, no, it's not that one there. It's another one. Okay, pop that down into into there. Oh, we get to choose where it lives now. Oh, okay, yeah. Pop it under those spaces there. There is still a damaged tractor by the barn. Move it to the parking lot for a closer look. Yes, indeed. Okay, right. Move that and drop that into there. You can call a mechanic. I suspect we might need to. Maybe he can bring the tractor and plow back to life. Yes, okay. Um, repair that and repair, that's very expensive. 22 and a half grand. That's absolutely fine, right. Um, oh, crikey. Okay, the, the mechanic appeared instantly and now we have a shiny tractor. Okay, that was very quick. Well done, mechanic. That's a, a, <laughs> an absolutely amazing example of efficiency there. Um, time for the roads. Route them so each of the buildings can be reached from the main road. Absolutely. Okay, so, ah, we can build the main road now if we wanted to. We can build the big main road that runs to the middle. So if you had a load of stuff, say, over here in the corner, who's that? Hello? Who are you? Are you the mechanic? No, you're just somebody driving by. Hello, enjoy your trip. Um, yeah, so if you had something over here that had a lot of traffic going to it and from it, you could build a big proper road out that way. Ah, okay, well, there we go. Yeah, you couldn't do that in, um, in Farm Manager 2018, I do not believe. Okay, right, gravel roads will do. Surely gravel roads will suffice. Okay, start, um, start building from here and just get that up to there. Okay, so road in. And then build from there. We'll get that going across like that. And then pop that up to the house. Do we need to drop that into the barn? No, that's fine. Hang on, I've not finished doing the road yet. Hang on, lady. Wait there. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. No, don't do that, though. Hang on. <laughs> do it properly. There we go. Bring that in. So we've got a loop so we can go round. Buildings still need to be connected to the power grid. Okay, right. We have a power grid now, do we? Um, the mains power runs along the road. Connect buildings to this electricity line. Okay. Oh, this is this is a new thing that we've got to consider. Um, okay. How about then, if we put the power line running behind these two buildings, if we say um, an electric pole, uh, start an electric line from an existing thing. Oh, okay. So if I click there, 
and then, aha, yes, drag that to there. Drag that to, it makes electric-y noises, it makes sparky sounds. Uh, put that to there, and then bring that across there. That should be fine, shouldn't it? Yes, connect buildings to the thing. Oh, hang on, do I need the other thing? Hang on, what's that? What's an electric transformer do? Can we put the transformer there? There we go, right, splendid. So there we go, so those buildings are now powered. Okay, lovely. Before you start developing your farm, you should also renovate these buildings. Don't forget the roads and electricity. Okie dokie. Right, what have we got down here? What have we got down here? Where was the other stuff that we saw at the start? Where's that? Oh, that's all the way over there. Oh, that's really far away. Okay, fine. So next, what have we got to do? Right, so we have some objectives. Okay, right. Fix all of these things and clear the junk. It looks like, yeah, this place has been used as a bit of a dumping ground. Um, okay. Renovate that. Renovate that. Oh, this is good. Now we don't have to wait. We can just get on with it. Okay, that needs probably renovating as well. What's that then? Clear trash. Oh, yeah, it is just trash. Okay, splendid. Right, so clear that trash and clear that load of rubbish out of the way as well. Is there something else in there? There's an abandoned machine. There's like a reaper machine in there. Okay, what else have we got to do? Um, connect them to the roads. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Okay, right. So let us go to roads. Let us get this sorted. Do you know what? I might get ourselves a bigger bit of road coming up here then. If we bring that up to there, say, like that, that gives you know, more access up there. And then we can just have the gravel road coming off of that. Um, maybe we can have the gravel road going up like that. Oh, no, we're not allowed to do that. Oh, it has to come out the side. Of course it does. Right, have the gravel road going across like that. And then... Just have the that coming up to there so it gets to the silo. And then bring that across like that. And then down like that. Can that connect to there? I don't think that's allowed. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We'll, we'll bring it in. It's fine. There we go. Splendid. A perfect junction right there. Okay. So is everything connected? Is everything connected? Um, oh, no, that one is not. Because oh, that's in a very silly place. Who, who built these things? Okay, hang on. Drag that out to there. Bring it round. I like things being connected. There we go. Okay, so now what do we need to do? All those things connected. And then electricity. Okay. Yeah, electric is a new thing we've got to learn how to deal with. Okay, so um, electricity pole coming in from... Um, hang on a minute. Where's the, where's the thing? There it is. So we want to put one here and then bring it over. I would say bring it behind those buildings so they're not in the way so okay so can we put a pole there does that connect over here right and then bring them across bring it like that and then over like that and then into there and then across the road and then behind there and behind there and then come out of that and then grab a transformer uh, there you go. Robot in disguise that bit there. And then that should provide power all the way along there. Although that one doesn't. Oh, hang on. What, what's that? Oh, do I, need a, do I need one of those things there? Boom. Does that help? Why isn't the electricity working? Somebody plug it in or something. I don't, I don't know. Why isn't that functioning? I thought that would work. But no, the electric is not going anywhere across the entire thing, is it? Um... Okay, right. I'm not sure how electricity works. I normally just plug things in and switch them on and it's all fine. I don't know how to make my own unique power grids. Um, no electricity in that building. I mean, it's connected up. The wires go in, don't they? Or if I just put it in the way? <laughs> can we... Hang on. How do we remove that? How Can we bulldoze this? Yay, bulldoze. Yay, boom. Okay, right. Get rid of that. I don't think they did anything. Do we need to connect it from the existing poles? Maybe we do. And we can't connect it from that one because that's not in our... Oh, no, it is. Can we do that? No, because it's not in our area. Oh, that's a bit tedious, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Right, pop that to say there then. Let's go whoop and whoop. Okay, there we go. Right, so it's connected along that way. Um, or it should be. Yay, there we go. Right, splendid. Okay, we've got that bit all powered up now. Yeah, okay, so the power grid thing is going to be, you're going to have to factor in all of your different sort of power things when you're building your farm. Okay, right, construct a new building, parking, build two parking lots for machines and transfer all of this equipment there. Okay, um, okay, building and is that a parking bay? It does look like one, okie dokie. Uh, okay, rotate it round 
Let's put one there and one... Uh, can we put one at the end? That'd be quite good. Pop one right there and the road can go round it. And then we want to move those things over. So repark? Not you. Okay, hang on. Move. Um, oh, oh, what's going on? Okay, move that to there. Ah, uh, yeah, look. So we get to choose where we want to put these things. That's quite exciting. Yeah, so look, you get to choose a... You get to choose a slot. Can we rotate it around? Oh, we can. Oh, so it's, you can play sort of uh, sort of farm equipment Tetris and try and fit them into the various bays. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, right. Move that. Um, move that one into number one and pop that one next to the other one. They need to be checked. Maybe they can be fixed. The combine doesn't look that bad. Fixing it shouldn't be expensive. Okay, <laughs> let's have a look. Um, the broken machine, 750. That one there. 850. Okay, nice and simple. That's all sorted. Uh, is there is there something else? Move. What else am I moving? To where? Um, oh, okay. The combine. Hang on, the combine was all the way over here, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Right, okay. We'll drag that over there then. Uh, okay, how much is that going to be? The combine doesn't look that bad. Fixing it shouldn't be expensive. It costs 97,619 monies. Mm, I, I disagree with you, nameless lady. I think that's relatively expensive. But okay, let's fix up the Xena Combine. <laughs> Xena Combine, Harvester Princess. Okay, right, there we go. We'll do that. And it's a lovely green combine thing. The workhouse is located near the renovated cow sheds. Hire two people and place them in this building. They will take care of the animals. Okay, so it's that. It's one of the little houses. Okay, so hire some workers. Oh, Oh, they've got faces, they're proper faces. I mean, they had faces before in Farm Manager 2018, but look at that. Have they got sort of, st still got stats? So yeah, so you're pretty good at animals. Is there anybody else that's very good at animals? Can we filter it? Can we filter it? Oh, you're really good at animals. And you're wonderful at manufacturing as well. Okay, hang on then. So who's going to be really good at looking after animals if that's going to be their job? Uh, we need, what, two people? Um, okay, you're good. We'll hire you. What's that then? So you get hourly or monthly. Okay, so if we up that, do you work a bit better? If we give you that, do you work more efficiently, Scarlet? If we pay you 2,135 monies monthly, which seems quite a lot, good grief. Does that mean that you work better? 1,700, do you know what? Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. Yeah, we're on the sort of demo version. Let's treat people. So, okay, so you come in and go into, oh, no, that one there. House for permanent employees number two. And then where was the other animals person? Um, animals and where was animals and manufacturing? There was someone who was really good at animals and manufacturing. Has it reset the entire list of people that we can hire? I think it might have done. You're good at animals. Imogen Murphy. Okay, we'll hire you. We'll give you loads of money. Okay, and you go into number two as well. Okay, everything is ready. You should now buy four cows for each refurbished cow shed, order food for the animals, and assign animal handlers. Build a manure landfill, barn, and a small warehouse nearby. Goodness me. Okay, right, so how do we put animals into here? Animals, buy. Four cows for each one. Okay. Oh, look at that. We can have deer. We can have deer. However, okay, we're being tutorial to tell us to get cows. Let's get some cows, which is all very disappointing. Okay, right, and, okay, more cows. They're expensive. Okay, so we've bought the cows. Um, uh, what do we need to do now? Order food for the animals. Okay, food. So that's what's in that particular thing. So each of those, do they have a storage thing? So it looks like each of those has got its own storage that can hold quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, in there, we can choose, so they'll, they'll generate milk and they'll generate manure, lovely. And that's the food that we need to do. Uh, chosen food quality, current food quality. Okay, do we need to tell them? Okay, hang on a minute. That's silage, isn't it? Um, okay, grass. Do we click that? Chosen food. Ah, so if we buy some grass and some, what's that like grain? Crops. Okay, so if we buy some grass and some crops and some carrots, why not? Let's give them some really good food choice. Okay, do we need to assign a person to work there? Okay, Scarlet, you're in that one. Whoa, 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 pause for a second. Hang on a minute. Oh, the cows have been delivered. <gasps> The cows are in. Let's go and take a look at the cows. Hello, cows. Hello, tree. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's four of them. There's a kind of weird two-headed cow thing just there. Wow, we've got a special cow. There we go. Cows. Somebody else just drops the cows off. Doesn't stop. Just, you know, throws them out of the, throws them out of the truck. And there they go. That cow's having a little sleep. 
Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Um, okay, okay, lovely. Right, pause time a second, because I think the cows are going to starve because they've got no food. Okay, you need somebody to work there. So Imogen, in your pop, assign you into there. And, okay, I've assigned the two. Ah, there we go. And then you have those to eat as well. And then we're going to need to buy in some grass, some, what's that say? Fodder beets. Okay, I, I probably said carrots, but okay, fodder beets and crops. Okay, is that the market? Is that where we buy things? Yes, okay, right, that icon looks sort of familiar. Um, okay, crops. Ooh, there's bio crops or there are normal crops. The bio ones are a little bit more expensive. Okay, are they organic? Have we got a choice between organic things and non-organic things? Okay, I don't think the I don't think the cows will really care. So let's buy I don't know. Can we buy five hundred units of each? So five hundred of those for seventy-five million. That's nothing. Let's buy a thousand then. There we go. So we'll we'll treat the cow. So buy a thousand crops and then grass. Um, can we filter that down? Cereals, it'll be, won't it? Yeah, there you go. Grass. So buy a thousand bits of grass, um, which you know what you'd get right now from cutting my lawn because it's really, really overgrown. So there you go. We'll go and we'll go and cut my lawn and we'll provide all the grass for that. So there we go. And then what was the other thing? Um, it was fodder beets or something, wasn't it? What was that? This thing, these things, fodder beets. I mean, I would say, is that not a carrot? Oh, there's a carrot. Carrots are just pointier fodder beets. Okay. I've, I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of the concept of a fodder beet. Okay, if you order a thousand of those, that costs a thousand monies. But there we go. So now there should be enough stuff to feed them. Of course, yeah, it's got to be delivered. Right, construct a new building. Oh, barn. Okay. Um, Where are we going to be? Warehouses. Okay, a small warehouse and a barn. Okay, where can we put the barn? Can we put the barn in the middle in here somewhere? That would be handy right in the middle, just there, there we go, perfect. Okay, so a barn is now being constructed uh, with a small warehouse and a manure landfill. Is that that? Manure storage, lovely, okay. Um, let's pop that, I mean, that's gonna be used by those guys over there. So we'll pop that in, and as we put it, uh, what else do we need to build? Uh, a small warehouse, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the warehouse? Can that fit in there? Yes. Okay. So pop that just there. There we go. This little space in the middle is quite good. And then the manure storage can go just there. Splendid. Okay, right. So we've got a few things being constructed. So barn is underway and 2,000 oats. Okay. Why are we buying oats? I haven't told them to eat oats. Oh, okay. Right. Hang on. You can eat oats as well. Hang on. Let me go and order 2,000 oats. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go to cereal um that's that's barley is that oats yeah okay right two thousand oats are, are on request for four thousand of your monies splendid and then we just need to wait for those things to get constructed okay so unpause time let's see what's going on so lots of building work happening there's one poor person over there working on the manure storage oh this is very lovely it's very lovely to be back in the land of farm manager there we go oh taller buildings fancy do you know what move time on a little bit quicker oh little people on the roofs doing their sort of crouchy dance type maneuver things that's lovely okay so we've nearly what does that mean what does that mean it's got a thing over its head what does that what's that thing mean there's not enough room maybe it means there's no food because there isn't because there is no food currently maybe that's what that means um okay i'm sure we'll find out oh, hang on there's a thing there what's that um, no warehouse, no warehouse, no warehouse. We're on it. We're absolutely on it. Um, okay, yeah, don't worry about it. We've got it sorted. We've got it sorted. They're being built right now. Look, in fact, one of the things already, but look, you've got somewhere where you can put your manure. Aren't we lucky treating you to that? Okay, so there is, there is a small warehouse. We've constructed the barn. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're just taking a while to remove the kind of the building paraphernalia around the edge. Okay, look. Right, so... We've done all the things. You did it. Not bad for your first project. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't tricky, I'll be honest. It wasn't the most difficult of things. I mean, the thing we struggled with most was putting in some sort of you know, electricity kind of pile on things. So what's that say? There is no warehouse for small cow shed number one. You don't have the right warehouse or site for nearby, uh, for resources nearby grass. What does that mean? 
So, I mean, we don't have the right warehouse. We've got a barn that can hold grass. I would have thought that would be fine. But, okay, yeah, it doesn't... Why, why is it not thinking that it can't go here? Why is that having a problem? Yeah, warehouse nothing. There, There is stuff... Do you know what? I'm sure that'll sort itself out. Okay, what are we doing next? Um, oh, okay, I stand entirely corrected. Chapter one is not the only thing we can do. We can do chapter one, uh, chapter two, and we can go to Milky Valley. <laughs> Okay, so we've completed chapter one. Let's go to chapter two, Milky Valley. And so we're still here. Oh, okay, right, no, there we go, splendid. It's not just chapter one, we get more farm manager. The renovated buildings are far away from your house, but that won't stop you utilizing their potential. As you can see, the previous farm was based on milk production. Um, yes, I can clearly see that it was based on milk production. You know, on account of the lack of cows and everything, but okay, that'd be a good direction for development. Build a dairy and start processing the milk. Okay, right. Dairy, factory type things. Uh, production. A milk processing plant. Yeah, otherwise known as a dairy, but okay. Uh, oh, these look splendid. That That is big. That's a big, big structure, that is. I mean, it would make sense if it was down here. The milk is going to be here. So can we put the dairy onto the main road bit there? And then everyone can just go and pick up the stuff from there and drop it off and what have you. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's build the dairy there. We are going to need some money, nameless lady. We've, we've, we've kind of burnt through almost, almost 700 grand. We've got 80 grand left. We could do with turning a tiny bit of a profit. Okay. Speed time on. Let's see what's going on. This is going to take a long while to get constructed. That's going to take a long while to get built. It's a big old building, but I'm sure it will look wonderful when it's done. There we go. All the people bobbing up and down in their kind of... <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's exactly how you build building. Standing one spot and just, just stand up and down. That's absolutely how it works. Okay. So there we go. So they're working on that. Do we need to like assign... I'm a bit confused as to why it thinks that that cannot be assigned to this particular barn. Oh no. They're lacking food. There's grass and there's no... That's got no food at all. Why is there no food? Are we supposed to tell them to to assign themselves to a warehouse or something? Or has something just gone a bit wonkaloids here? It might have gone a bit wonkaloids because, you know, farm manager and everything. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they don't... I know that thing now acknowledges that it's connected to a barn, but it's saying there's no food. Hang on, are you bringing food? Are you taking food from the warehouse to the cows? Uh, and what have we got? Taking it in. So 80, nothing. Oh, did you bring some cereal in or some crops or whatever? Okay, I don't really know what you did. You ha you did leave the door open for a bit there, which is a bit dangerous. And there is a cow in a massive pile of straw. Um, Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to follow this person now. Where are you going, Scarlet Holmes? You are picking up. Ah, you've got a big load of, um, a big load of oats, is it? Okay, so you've got a big load of oats. And you are going to take them into here. So currently, what have we got? None of those. No oats. You've bought some in. 60. Okay, wonderful. So they are moving the stuff in. It's just taking a little while. It's just taking a little while. Um, and yeah, the same for them. But yeah, they seem to have food. Whereas those cows allegedly don't have any food. Even though current food quality is looking good. Okay, maybe it's because they've not got a particular type of food. They've not got the, the weird sort of uh, big stumpy carrot things. Okay, so once they go in, I imagine that's going to go away because I'll have grass and oats and crops and stumpy carrots. Okay, do you know what? That, that, that's fine. That, we'll leave that. I'm sure it's fine. It'll sort itself out. Um, okay, build a dairy and start processing milk. However, there is no power. Okay, here we go. So electrical transformer, uh, pop that there. That should then power that up and it can continue channeling the electric across that way. So it's connected. Uh, we need to hire some more people. We need some more people to come and work here. Um, how many people can it hold? Four. Splendid. Um, change production. What do you want? Build a dairy and start processing the milk. Uh, okay. So we can make either... Um, that's going to be like the goat's cheese, the cow's cheese and, and butter, I would assume. Uh, okay, let's make... We get 300 units out of the 500 milk for just, you know, regular, sort of a regular cheese. So can we see how much things sell for? Can we see? Sell. There we go. Um, 
Uh, ah, okay, no, we can't. We can't see that right now because we can only sell the things that we've currently got to sell. We can't go and check other prices of things. I don't think we can anyway. I'm not sure. Do you know what? I'm sure it's fine. Let's just get four people in who are good at, at manufacturing. Right, Eva Matthews, we will have you in and we'll give you a load of money because why not? Because we like you. Um, You can go into house number two. And then um, it does see, yeah, I think it resets. It resets everything. Uh, okay, right. Matilda Ryan, you look a little bit like the previous person we employed. You must be twins or whatever. Um, okay, you come in. So we'll give you that monthly. What's that mean? What does that mean? 160 hours monthly. Oh, so we can, oh, we can tell them to work more hours. Ah, to so give them more money, but she can work more hours. She can work longer. Okay, Matilda Ryan, you're really good at manufacturing. So, okay, we'll hire you. Let's take a look as well. Albie Bell and Lewis Ryan. Okay, Albie Bell, Lewis Ryan. So we'll employ you, Matilda Ryan. You can go into there. And then Albie Bell and Lewis... No, they've just gone. Albie Bell and Lewis Ryan have just evaporated into nothingness. They found jobs at the same time. Um, okay, Daisy White, you can work some long hours. We'll put you into house number two. And anybody else that's good at manufacturing... Oh, beekeeping. Oh, I loved it when we had bees. The honey was really good. Um, who is good at manufacturing? Um... They've still got this thing in where people say, yes, I'm good at manufacturing, but I don't have any skill in it. I just, I know how to spell it or whatever. Uh, you, Finley Ellis, let's get you in because you seem the best. We'll pay you a lot of money. You can just work regular hours because why not? There we go. So we've got four manufacturing people in. So then let's go and have a look at, I mean, the building looks great. That looks very good. You've got those big so milk vats at the back. You've got the bit where you do the work. Got a platform. Oh, there's a gantry. Love a gantry. Okay, right. So it's got a gantry going on as well. Uh, so in here then, assign um, you because you're good at manufacturing and you and you. And we'll put you in. You're not very good at manufacturing, but it's fine. You can go in there anyway. And then the milk is going to go in. Um, can we have like our quick view list thing up there like we used to have? Like how much milk do we have right now? Hang on. Where's our sort of stock? Uh, where is our stock thing? Hang on. Can we see what we've got? Or do we have to go to the market and do like a sell thing? We've got 625 milk. So they should be able to get on with that stuff. You should minimise the cost of keeping the animals. Purchase all necessary machinery for grass, oats and fodder beets. The list of machines can be found in the campaign panel. Here are the necessary funds to buy them. Oh, she's just given, a ma given us a massive pile of cash. Yay. Okay. We need to buy some machines. Are we not going to need to buy... Some storage, some parking for them, or is this parking sufficient? Okay, um, uh, is that machines, I assume? Yes, oh, the machine market. Okay, a seed drill. Let us get a seed drill. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, that's very lovely. Oh, it sounds nice. Um, okay, we can only have a new one. Okay, we'll buy ourselves a seed drill. That can go in parking number one. That can't go in parking number one. Oh, we can if we turn it round. Okay. A bit of lovely kind of, yes, uh, machinery Tetris. So pop that in. Right, a planter. Um, okay, scrolly, scrolly, scroll. Yeah, one of those. Um, a new one or a used one? Do you know what? She gave us a massive pile of money. We're having new things, thank you. Um, okay, pop that there. An Esther cultivator. Okay, yeah, one of those. We'll have the new one. Pop that one next door to its buddy. A trailer with water. Ah, oh, cracky. Okay, right. Trailer. Trailers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Would that be a vehicle? Combine. A header or a tool? Oh, okay. That didn't... The, the filter didn't help at all. Um, a trailer with water. We have to buy that new. Okay. Oh, that's big. That's a big thing. A manure spreader, a sprayer, and a box trailer. We're going to need to buy more parking. We need some more parking spaces. We're out of parking. Um... So yeah, manure spreader. So manure spreader. Is that a fertilizer spreader? Oh no, manure spreader. Okay, we can only buy a new one. Okay, pop that into there. And a sprayer and a box trailer. Yeah, we're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of parking. Or have we got more parking? Um No, we don't have enough parking. Hang on, we need to build another parking space. Uh construct that and get us another parking bay, please. Um, do you know what? Let's get road. We'll bring the road right down to there. And then we'll put the other parking thing pretty much next door. Let's just make sure. Hang on. Let's do this. I like getting road networks in. 
drag that out like that and drag that out like that just to make sure they're in and then now we can get our lovely new parking bay in swivel it round pop it into place welcome aboard okay what do we need we need a sprayer and a box trailer okay sprayer and a box trailer box trailer there we could buy how much is it eight grand we could buy a used 89 percent one for 5775 that's quite a big saving do you know what? we'll do that we'll do that and we'll put it into parking number three we just built this why don't we put it in properly so there we go so we'll pop that in and the last thing is a sprayer so let's see if we can find one of those where are you sprayer sprayer there we go only buy a new one and we'll pop it into parking number three okay well that's a tiny little thing that's a tiny little thing okay are you ready so grass oats and fodder beets the thing that i've never heard of the stumpy carrots if you're short on money you can always sell some milk and dairy products on the market okay okay right so now we've got to sow the things okay i assume we have to now make a field it hasn't told us to make a field yeah so create a field with fodder beets create a field with grass create a field with oats Oh, this is wonderful. How do you do field? Is that field? It looks like it should be a field. There we go. Um, okay, right. I feel like we need a proper kind of arrangement for fields. I feel like this is all woefully underprepared. Um, hang on. Could we have... Where do we want to put our fields? I kind of feel like they should be over here somewhere. But there's trees in the way. Can we remove the trees? I assume if we just go over them with the field, they'll, the trees will just vanish. Um, okay, so let's bring that road... Uh, bring that road one more out like that and that one there like that boom bring that down across like that and then bring that down oh that's gone horribly wrong hang on a minute no not like that no 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 bring that down to there splendid and then i think maybe let's just have a big long bit over here like that and a big long bit over there like that which does indeed remove some of the trees which is handy so there we go right now let's create a field okay so drag that out so how much is that going to cost? So if we say, um, yeah, pop that in like that, 6,000. Okay, pop that in like that, that's 7,000. Then we can have a nice road going through the middle to make it easier to, you know, navigate round and stuff. So how big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one is one, two, three, four, five. So that one's eight. So it doesn't, I'm not too fussed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, however big that is, I'm sure it'll be fine. So like that, down to there, grab us another field for seven grand. Okay, so this is the smaller field. Um, Right, how do we determine what goes in the field? Is it the big question mark? Yay, it is. Okay, fodder beat. That one there can be oats. And that one there can be... Oh, no, wrong button. That one there can be grass okay have we got like requisite seeds for those things because if we haven't got the seeds for those it's going to be impossible to grow them silage storage will come in handy by the barn and cow sheds enables the processing of grass and straw into silage yes indeed okay silage it used to look like that there we go okay so drop a silage thing in just here and can we drop one in over there we, we could but i imagine it's going to destroy the, the sort of electricity provision so let's just pop it um there that'll do it's not too far away okay so get those two things constructed i'm a bit concerned about the fields because we haven't got any seeds or anything for these things do we need to go and buy some seeds hang on a minute seeds and plants um does it tell us how many we need does it tell us how many we need we need to cover 0.123 hectares uh hang on how do we know let's say if we buy fodder beet seeds how much does that cover how many does that go i don't know how to work out how many that covers um maybe the thing will help us maybe the thing will tell us how to work that out tutorial lady will probably pop up um okay logistics buildings oh my goodness me a logistics building you need to prepare for more milk and more crops. Build an additional warehouse and logistics center the logistics center will significantly speed up transport of goods oh we have our own little kind of little sort of truck stop type thing um okay how do we sew these how do we more how do we sew this i don't know how we do it not enough staff oh so we need some more staff as well but i don't know how to sow the seeds in this yet i don't know what to do with this do we press that first to sort of dig out the field 
Hey, you've not told me how to do the farming yet. I mean, okay, it looks sort of familiar. We do things in order, but um, I don't know how to assign people to do that. Okay, let's do this stuff first. Again, maybe that will come into play a bit later. Uh, okay, uh, logistics center, logistics center. Where would that be? Others? Uh, no, that's lovely. Pro oh, there it is. Oh, leave there. Logistics buildings next to a well. Um, do you know what? Let's have a flowers box because... Why not? Why wouldn't you want a flowers box? Right there. Ah, flowers. Lovely. Um, okay, what, what are we doing? A thing. A thingy, my bob. One of those things. A logistics centre. Okay, it's quite big. It probably should belong by the main roadside, I would say. 50 grand! Good grief. Can we sell some stuff to make a bit of money? Um, we don't... Have we, have we not made any cheese? What are you lot doing? How have you not made any cheese? You've been there for ages. <laughs> Get making cheese. It's your one job. Okay, so that's constructed a small warehouse. And we've already constructed a small warehouse, haven't we? Isn't that a small warehouse? Uh, okay, we need to just get another one of those in. Okay, right. More small warehouses it is. Okay, this could be an interesting test. What if we put the small warehouse just there? Those electricity things are going straight through the roof. What happens there? Do they move or do they just go through the roof and everything is absolutely fine? It looks like the wires will just go through the roof of the warehouse. <laughs> Everybody be a bit careful around there. But uh, yeah, they're just going to go through the roof. Careful people on the roof, don't get electrocuted. Yeah, I don't think it just sort of does anything with them. I think it just leaves them. I don't think it cares. Oh no, the animals got sick. Call in a vet. Uh, okay, we've got a, we've got an ill cow. But yeah, look, the wires just passed straight through the roof. Wonderful. Um... Ah, right, yeah, okay, skull and crossbones, always a bad thing. Call the vet. There we go, one of the animals is sick. Okay, move time on, let's get the vet in nice and quick. Where are you, vet? Um, I assume that's not the vet. I don't think that's the vet. The vet would be in a little car. Uh, okay, can we see the vet coming in? Is that the vet? Yes, there's the vet. Hello, vet squad. In you come, sort out the poorly cow. There you go, with your vet bag. And that's not a cow. That's a fence. Yep, there you go. You fixed that fence good. No, there you go. There you go. Fine, you're sorting out the cow by, you know, standing inside it. It's all good. Phew, situations in control. You better build a veterinary clinic to keep the animals healthy. We can build our own vet now. Oh, crikeys. Okay, where is that? Um, and others again, I would imagine. Veterinary clinic. Oh, wow. Okay, crikeys. Uh, we'll put that next to that warehouse. Why not? There we go. That'll get that done. I'm a bit concerned that these fields aren't going to be doing anything. Not enough staff. You don't have enough staff in range for field work. I mean, how many staff can we fit in this house? There's only two more. We need another house for staff. We need another social house for people. Not enough money for a house for permanent employees. <laughs> so we've built the fields, but nobody can work on them because we can't actually afford anything. Can we just get some two more people? Maybe they can just go very slowly work on the field. Orchards, beekeeping, plants. Okay, yeah. Given that we're a farm, nobody seems to do very much about farming, but okay. Right, we'll pay you a big pile of money. You can do a load of work. We'll hire you, and you can live in... Uh, oh, we should have built the fields over near that house, shouldn't we? Okay, we should have built the fields near the other house. Okay, never mind. We'll pop you into there. And is anybody else good at plants? Can we find somebody that's good at plants? Given that we want you to work on a farm. Nope. Okay, right. You've got lots of endurance, Muhammad Hawkins. You can come in and you can go into house number two as well. Okay. So have we completed our thing? No, not quite done yet. Okay, so they're still working on it. Um, yeah, not enough staff for the things. And assigned staff. Storage for silage one. Your building is not working. Oh. Oh. It needs... Oh, yeah. We need loads more people. We need loads of people. Hang on. No, no, don't put you on there, Mohammed. Can we go over here? Yes, look. She's working on it. She's working on it. I don't know how, because she hasn't got any seeds, but okay. <laughs> it's all wonderful. There you go. She's working on it. Focus on producing cheese and butter. Produce and sell 300 of each. Okay, how much, how much of anything have we got right now? We've got 600 cheese. Okay, right. We've got 600 cheese. Right, we'll get that next bit of cheese done. And then we'll change it round to make some lovely butter. Okay, let's just speed that on a bit. There we go. Is, is she going to get... She's in the tractor. The lady is in the tractor, whatever her name was. You there. You're doing some tractoring. This is the first look at a tractor in Farm Manager 2021. Okay, we've produced, the, we've produced enough cheese. Hang on a second. Change production to butter. Yes, please do that. And there we go. 
You're doing some good old ploughing there. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right, so some ploughing going on. Splendid. Um, can we sell some stuff? Can we make some money, please? We're quite poor. Can we sell the cheese for 12... 12,000? 12, 12,000 monies by selling 600 bits of cheese? Okay, cheese is very profitable. Let us sell the cheese. And we have made a bit of money. Is that enough money to allow us to build one of these? It's 30 grand. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, let's build a house. Ah, the houses have range. Okay, so that house, that house does cover those fields, but only just, only just. Okay, let's put another house um, there. We'll drop one of those there and then we'll get a road bit going up just past the house like so why can i not do that there we go right click that in splendid so we've got another house now we just need to wait for them to produce 300 butter which is a bit of an annoying amount because they make 250 butter in one kind of sort of production run okay fine we'll just have to sort of sit about and wait for a bit um and then okay right move time on move time on nice and fast Let's just wait for that house to get constructed and we'll wait for them to get two lots of butter made. Okay, by trying to connect our little house there that we've built up to the electricity grid, it does seem that I might have sent us into a tiny little bit of debt there. So fortunately, we do have some more cheese to sell. So here we go, the cheese will save us. Sell the cheese for six grand, please. Boom, there we go. The cheese has been sold, which might mean now we can get ourselves our electrical transformer in for five grand, which we can't afford, unfortunately, because we're obviously paying out wages. Bother. But do you know what? This this field's being done. Look, another field is being ploughed, which is nice. So uh, so yeah, they're getting on with it. The only thing is, yes, we are now lacking the seeds. And um, we obviously can't buy the seeds because we've not got any money. Um, however, they're doing pretty good with the butter. So let's just, let's get that butter done. Okay, it's pouring with rain. It's, it's a miserable day. It's good for the fields because they're getting a nice sort of bit of uh, watering going on. But yeah, this person here is properly on it with the field. They are fertilising the field. They're doing quite a lot of good stuff to the field. But it's all going to fall apart when they get to the point where we need to put sort of seeds in the field because we haven't got any of those. So that's a bit unfortunate. And um, also production here has appeared to have stopped. It, it, they're not doing anything anymore. Maybe they're scared of the storm or something. I don't know. No, there we go. There we go. I think they we're just having a, a little lie down. My goodness me. It is a very inclement day. There is a storm raging. Uh, I mean, it looks really nice. It looks very, very pretty. There's a city over there again. Um, uh, oh, there's something over there as well. What's that? Like a little power plant of some description. Oh, look at that. There's like incidental buildings. In. Oh, and there's wind, wind sort of turbine things. Another settlement over there, like a sort of a small town or whatever. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I didn't realise there were extra bits and bobs. Anyway, right, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, farming. Okay, right, farm stuff. Um, Right, sell the sell the, the butter. Okay, right, fine. Can do that. Might actually get us some money. Um, Okay, sell 250 butter for three and a half grand. We need to sell the other bit of butter. Can you take the butter out of there, somebody, and put it in the, one of the warehouses so we can sell it off? And there we go. I think the storm is pretty much finished. There's, sort of, yeah, there's a rumble of thunder and stuff, but it's fine. Okay, so butter. Sell the rest of this for 3,495 monies. Da-da. Right, I've done it. Your cows are not... Oh, what was that? Time to expand dairy production. Start breeding goats and sheep. Produce 100 goats milk and 500 sheep's milk and sell them on the market. Okay. Go goats and sheep. Okay, right. We haven't even got to goats and sheep yet. Do we need to... Yeah, we haven't got anywhere to put goats and sheep. Um, can you give us some more money, please? <laughs> because I seem to have spent it all on lots of unnecessary bits and bobs. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Goats and sheep. How much is one of those? Animals. A small cow shed is 10 grand. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit more money, lady. Can we have some more cash, please? That would be nice if you could just give us an injection of cash. I mean, you did make us build two warehouses for some obscure reason. Don't really know why we had to do that. Um... But yeah, if you could give us a tiny bit more money, that would be wonderful. Also, we're going to change the dairy production back to that cheese because that seemed far more profitable than the butter. So, OK, right. Make cheese again, please. OK, so we have ordered some fodder beet seeds to go in this field because this field is ready to have some seeds put into it. It's got the lovely fertilizer all over it. It's just ready for some sort of seeds to come in. So that's OK. So we've ordered those. It wasn't that expensive. So hopefully they will arrive and then somebody can put those in the field because then we might start growing something. The only problem is now they want us to make 1000 goat's milk and 500 sheep's milk. And uh, we've got the, sort of the thing down for the animals and that's fine we need to get another person in which means we need to connect up the house to electricity which is expensive and then then we need to buy the animals to go into here as well 
So we need quite a lot more money. So hopefully Lady here is going to, you know, give us a nice cash injection at some point very, very soon. But I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. So we might just need to wait for them to make a heck of a lot of cheese. We might just need a load of cheese. I mean, what else can we sell? What have we got lots of? We've got loads of extra bits. Like this stuff here. What if we just sold 200 of those? I mean, that would get us 31 minutes. <laughs> okay. That's not really worth doing, is it? Yeah, if we sold all the grass, it's not really worth it. What about all the fodder beets? 880. It's not really worth it. We'll sell all the butter. That gets us a bit of money. Okay, so we'll do that. Ah, the seeds are in. The fodder beet seeds are in. So maybe they will go over and plant those seeds. Um, But yeah, in terms of... We just need to make cheese. We just need you lot to just become far quicker and better at making cheese. I noticed no cheese making is happening right now. You lot, get on with making cheese. It's crucially important to our profits. Okay, so the month just ended, which was a bit of a disaster for us because uh, because unfortunately the month ending means that we had to pay out lots of maintenance on all of our buildings and we had to pay out lots of wages. So now currently we find ourselves almost 14,000 farm manager monies down, which is, it's that's not good. That's not good. I do feel like she hasn't helped. Like she was going, hey, build this extra storage thing. We don't need that. We've got a storage thing here and a barn. We've got loads of stuff. And there's another thing here. There's loads of stuff lying around. Why did you make us build lots of extra things? I don't really understand. Um, So yeah, we've got ourselves in a bit of a pickle here because we haven't got enough money <laughs> to do anything at all. No money, says the message. You don't have enough money. I never do, game. I never do. Okay, right. So, okay, we've got no money. I mean, we could. We could. I mean, how are you at making the cheese? Um, you're not making the cheese now, but you will be making the cheese soon. How is the cheese looking for being sold? Um, yeah, okay, six grand. So there you go. We've, we've, we've made back a tiny bit. You're just going to need to make more cheese. Make more cheese all of the time. Don't do anything else. Never sleep, never stop. Don't you know, go for food unless you're eating cheese that you're making. Don't eat too much. And uh, just make loads of cheese. Just make lots and lots of it, please, because we need loads of money. Oh, and also apparently our field cannot be sown with the fodder beet seeds because we don't have enough of them. I don't know how to work out how much we need. I'm not entirely sure how we calculate that. I don't know. It doesn't seem to come up anywhere. So yeah, I don't know how much we need. And we can't sort of say buy the right amount or anything. I mean, yeah, now it's not going to help either because obviously we haven't got any money. But yeah, I don't know how many sort of fodder beet seeds to buy to cover a field of that size. Okay, it's taken a while, but we have ourselves 900 units of cheese to sell. So we can make ourselves 18 grand, which is wonderful because that means we have 10 grand to spend, which is splendid. So let's first go and get some more of those beet seed things because I kind of want to get that field sown now. I don't, again, I don't know how many to buy. 500 for 410? I really don't know. I really have no idea. Buy that many and we'll see if that's enough. I'm not sure how to calculate it. And that leaves us with 9,644. So we should, we should be able to get ourselves this thing powered up. Then we can get some people in it who can work with the animals over there because that's our current problem. And now ideally, really, I should have put it over near this house because this house is doing completely nothing. There's a whole house here. We spent whatever it was, 30 grand on building that house. And there's a house here. Just there's nobody in that house. So really, you know, in hindsight, which is a wonderful thing, we should have put things over here, but we didn't. And now we'll have to work through it. It's all fine. So a transformer can go... Oh, I've put it there. The transformer's gone here, but fortunately that still reaches that house, which is good news. Um, And then... We can go to here and we can hire a person that's good at working with animals, if there is such a person. Okay, we're going to hire a person that's moderately seen an animal before and might know which end is their head and which end is the other end. Okay, let's let's not pay you any more money. Uh, okay, right, we'll hire you, Fionn Lambert. You can go into uh, that one there, lovely, and then you can work in here. So we'll assign you to work in there which is splendid. And then you're going to need some animals and stuff. Um, that's that's not goats and sheep. How do... Oh, no. Is this entirely the wrong building? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, a small cow... I built a cow shed instead of a shed. Um, oh, my goodness. The small sheds are 18 grand. 
18, we're going to need 36 grand. Lady, we need a cash injection. We're going to be here forever doing this if you don't give us any more money right now. Also, the fodder beet seeds are still not enough. It's still not enough. Okay, right. Let's at least try and get that sorted. Let's get something working. This is proving to be a bit of a disaster. Let's just buy another thousand. How much is that going to be? 820. Okay, buy lots of those. Fodder beet seeds coming in, please. That would be wonderful. Are you still making lots of cheese? Are you still making cheese? Yeah, there you go. Sell all the cheese. Quickly, make us some more money. Now, if we demolish this, so let's let's take you out of there, worker lady. If we demolish it, do we get do we get anything back from it? I don't think we do. I don't think we get anything from this at all. Oh, that we just wasted 10 grand. We just wasted 10 grand. That's entirely wrong button. So if we just do that, it just that's it. It's gone. It's just gone. We don't get anything from it at all. It's oh dear. we oh this is gonna be really tricky. A thousand goat's milk and 500 sheep's milk. So we need to build two of those things for 36 grand. Then we need to buy the goats and the sheep to go into those things. And then we need food and stuff for them as well. Right. Okay. I, th I don't think this is going to go very well. Can we take out a loan? How can we go and see the bank manager? That was always a thing that we could do before. Hang on a second. It's not telling us we don't have enough seeds anymore for the field. It's not saying that. The icon hovering above it has gone. I wonder if somebody is going to go out and plant some seeds in this field, which would be wonderful. That would be great stuff because, yes, that might mean that we can then at least get some stuff growing and then eventually harvest it and then sell it on for a nice bit of money. Because, yeah, at the minute, we really are struggling. We are struggling very much indeed. Have we got any more cheese to sell? Yes, we have. Okay, right. We're entirely reliant on cheese at this point in time, which is fine. I don't mind being reliant on cheese. I like cheese. But uh, but yeah, this is going to be troublesome. Okay, so you lot keep making loads of cheese. Just keep doing that. You're keeping us going. You're keeping this entire business afloat with your amazing cheese stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we'll wait to get ourselves 18 grand plus a little bit more so we can buy the sort of sheep and goats and what have you. Okay, it's taken some time, but we have ourselves one of the animal sheds set up with some goats. We have four goats in there right now, and they're being fed grass, and they're being fed crops, because we have those things available. So that's absolutely lovely. So that thing is in. We've got ourselves this field sown. We've got the oat field sown. Look, it's growing lovely oats, which is splendid. Uh, do you know what? I didn't even notice that was happening until a little a sort of while ago, and I went, oh, that field's got green stuff in. This one, though, they're still not doing, because apparently there's not enough staff. I don't know what the other staff are doing, but okay. I mean, can we just tell somebody to go and do it? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how this is going to work, but hopefully it'll sort of kick into life at some point. So are we able to now sell ourselves a load more cheese? Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so do that. So we've got ourselves a great big pile of money again. Now, of course, at the end of the month, it is going to go out. So maybe let's pause time. Right now, we get this done. Yes, it will plunge us into debt in the long run, but at least this thing will be constructed. So there is another small shed. Is this going to be complete by the end of the month, however? Because buying the sheep and the goats wasn't that expensive. It was not a costly thing. Right, hang on a minute. Right, let's get a person in to look after them. So, okay, hire a person that's good at animals. Um, Again... Nobody's overly good at animals. There's quite a few people that are good at bees, which are animals, but I'm not talking about bees. Um, okay, somebody with endurance. Uh, Kai, absolutely. Welcome aboard, Kai. Come into here. Welcome, welcome. You go and work in there, Kai. Absolutely. And then we will buy some sheep. Now, sheep are more expensive than the goats. Well, we get four of those. Feed them grain and whatever that is, crops and grass. That should be fine. And now we should be making money from the cheese, even though they've run out of milk by the look of it for now. There's loads more. They just need to move the stuff around. That's fine. And there you go. The little trucks are busy delivering stuff. So there we go. Now the sheep in there, so they will be generating sheep's milk. There's stuff in here. We've got some goat's milk. In fact, how much goat's milk do we have? Can we sell any? We've got a bit. We've got some cheese. Sell that on. And we have some goat's milk. So it says produce 1,000 goat's milk and 500 sheep milk. Can we see how much we've got? So we're going to produce it and then sell it. Okay, right. Well, I mean, that's going to take quite a long time by the look of it. Do you know what? The more goats we have and the more sheep we have, the more we're going to be able to generate. But the month just ended and we just had to pay out loads of money and everything. So now we can't buy any more goats and sheep. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Okay, we've got some money again. So now let's go through. Let's just buy a couple more of those. We'll have six of each. We'll have six goats, six sheep. They are generating a nice amount of stuff. 
they're making an okay amount of stuff. So we are able to you know, make a little bit of money from selling that and it all counts. So every bit we sell counts to our total. We don't have to sell a thousand in one go. So that's fine. So we're slowly but surely getting there. It's just taking quite a long time. Uh, this field here, they've put grass in that field, which is lovely. This field here is a bit confusing because now it just says there's not enough staff. Even though clearly some staff have done those two fields, I don't know why we've not got this field done. Unless it's because they have to put, they have to put the beets in the ground, don't they? That's what the problem is. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Can we get ourselves another person that might be good at plants? You. You're good at plants. You. You're hired. Come into number three. That might mean now, if we've got two people that can do plants, one person could drive the tractor and the other person could sit in the back and put the beets in the ground. Is, is, is that what's going to happen? This is quite good. They're sort of automatically getting on with some stuff. Like that field is a bit dry. They've got on with that themselves. They've gone and watered that all on their own. We haven't had to go and tell them to go and water a field or whatever. So that's quite encouraging. That's quite a good thing. Oh, and I suppose the rain will help anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm still a bit unsure as to why we haven't got enough people. Unless we need another person that's good at plants. Let's just hire some more people. It's all fine. It's the demo. Let's hire you. Put you into there. Okay. Does that mean we now have enough people? How many people do we need to go and sow a field of beets? Ah, ah ha ha. Maybe that's how many people we needed. We needed three people to do all this kind of stuff. Okay, right. You lot get on with that then, please. That would be wonderful. Here we go, look. Yep. Yeah. And hang on, can we just take a look? Yeah, look, there we go. One person driving the tractor, three people sitting on the back having a lovely ride and yeah, chucking these beets into the ground in nice, neat little rows. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so now this is going to grow, get our oats, uh, 79 days left, that's 31 days, so grass is going to come in pretty quickly, which is nice, and it's raining, which is surely good for the water levels. Come on, game, come on, this is, this is basic. Rain equals water equals water on the ground. Yeah, that's, that, maybe they need to work on that, because it's raining and the field doesn't appear to be getting any wetter. And we can sell a load more stuff. So sell a load of cheese at 13 grand. That's nice. Sell the milk, sell the other milk. And we're getting wool as well. So we can sell some of this wool, which is also splendid. And yeah, because they're taking care of the fields all on their own, they're also doing this sort of anti-fungus spray and insecticides and all that kind of stuff. They're getting that done as well. So they're buying that stuff in automatically without us having to sort of handhold them and say, right, go and do this, go and do that. So that's also quite good. That's quite a good thing. So yeah, they're sort of taking care of those fields pretty much on their own. Okay, finally, we've been able to acquire ourselves the 1,000 units of goat's milk and the 500 units of sheep milk. So now we just need to go and sell them. We've also got quite a lot of other stuff to sell. We've got a heck of a lot of cheese to sell for almost 22 money. So we'll take that um, and we'll sell the wool because we can't use it for anything else right now. So yeah, that's one and a half grand that we've got sort of for free. Um, sheep's milk, right, here we go. We'll complete one of the goals. And then goat's milk, another goal is complete. No, it's not. Hang on, we haven't sold all the sheep's milk. Hang on, where's the sheep's milk gone? Where's the rest of the sheep's milk? I assume it's not been shipped into the storage thing yet. Hang on, come on somebody, move the sheep's milk over. Do we have it now? Is it there to sell? No, is it still in here? It's in there, 114 units are sitting in there. Can somebody move that please? Really urgently, we need to do this. We've got the lady, she's been staring at us for quite a long time. She hasn't even blinked, which is making me very, very nervous. So if somebody could, you know, move that milk over so we can sell it really, really soon, that would be great. There we go. I think now it's been moved and we can sell the milk. There we go, goat's milk. Oh, hang on, we did that anyway. It's that, isn't it? It's the sheep's milk. Sell the sheep's milk and there we go. Oh my goodness me, and now it wants us to produce sheep's cheese and goat's cheese in the dairy. Okay, so you might notice that we're back at the menu screen and that's because the game just crashed. It just entirely stopped working and then binned out to the desktop. So I've come back in, but unfortunately it has not auto-saved anything. Maybe the demo version doesn't auto-save or whatever. So, uh, and I hadn't saved it at any point during that sort of uh, run. So never mind, our farmers, it's still there. Let's imagine it's still out there, busily making a load of cheese and selling it on. But I was gonna say that it's probably a good point to finish up for now because we've kind of, yeah, we've seen what Farm Manager 2021 is going 
going to look like. It's not too dissimilar from Farm Manager 2018, but obviously it's got extra bits and bobs thrown in. Yeah, you've got your logistics center thrown in. That's quite nice. You've got a vet that you can have on site. And it looks like as well, the fields are a little bit more sort of independently managed by your staff. You don't have to, yeah, every time a field gets dry, you don't have to manually go out and say, the field is dry, go and water it. And now you must do this. And now you must do that. They kind of realize this themselves because that's their job. You know, it is their job to work on the fields. So they go and look at the fields. They must assess them and then say, you know what, bit dry. Let's give it a bit of water, which is quite nice. It's quite nice that they've got a little bit of sort of, you know, get up and go there. The staff aren't just sort of standing around waiting for you, <laughs> the sort of omnipotent sky farmer, to lean down and tell them what to do in the fields. You know, they're actually able to make their own decisions, which is quite good. And, you know, it looks lovely as well. I'm sure there's loads of other bits and bobs that we will see in the full version of the game. But, yeah, there's a bit of a shame that it binned out. But we were at a pretty good point, to be fair. I think it was at a nice point. We've kind of seen how all the sort of bits and bobs work, like the fields and the manufacturing and all the other stuff. So... Yeah, it was a bit of a shame, but not to worry. Never mind. So we will absolutely be coming back to this. Whenever this comes out, whenever we get a proper sort of full playable version that I will remember to save more often with, um, we'll come back to this. We will have a series of this because Farm Manager is just a lovely game to play. It is very, very lovely indeed. So we'll come back. We will have a series. This is the demo version, of course, so we can't do much with this. But uh, yeah, when we actually get our hands on a proper, more complete version, whether it's early access or the full release, we will be absolutely playing through this and having a lovely series of Farm Manager. But uh, yeah, until that's done, we'll just have to wrap things up and look forward to when the game is released. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, then please do leave a like that would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with Farm Manager 2021 when it appears on the channel next year. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well, and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going on? <laughs>